drop the phone. Let's exercise. Greetings, everyone. In today's video, we'll go over a brief overview of the upcoming event, Vergerous Holiday. Kicking things off, we will be getting another login event, where players can earn 10 limited banner tickets for logging into the game for 7 days. But the highlights of this update is a brand new 5-star operative in the form of Shadow Ka Mogzier. She will be a Chaos Element unit, uses a submachine gun and seems to be fairly good at dealing with large groups of enemies. The character design and skill effects are looking pretty amazing here, and I cannot wait to try her out. Her signature weapon alloy truth will be available in the weapon banner, but free-to-play players can also earn her free-to-play best in slot floating waves from the event shop. Speaking of the event shop, a new logistics set, a Marna Squad will be available. This set is pretty unique and might become best in slot for many of our current support characters. It gives bonus ballistic damage to all party members. If the character equipped with it deals damage with their support skill, that damage if further boosted. We have to wait for the live game to get the full picture here, but this set is looking pretty promising. Additionally, everyone will be able to earn the Sultry Sunshine outfit for Big Sis Enya. Her outfit can be purchased from the event shop using the event currency. Of course, we can earn a few extra summons and a submachine gun weapon attachment from the event shop as well. So if you have some Baldur stamina vials stored up, I would recommend holding onto them for the update. Just make sure they won't expire. A big draw to this update is the new outfits, so let's quickly go over them. The sizzling holiday summer outfit will be available for Shadow Ka Mogzier. The Wave Crest Glimmer outfit for Chengsing Ethereal Clouds. The Sparkling Swell outfit for Yayo Winter Solstice. And the Enduring Valor outfit for Yalo Quiet Quitter. Those outfits will be available for purchase in the shop once the update goes live on November 2. For our last outfit, Battle Pass owners can get their hands on the High Roller outfit from Marion Swift. Now I know a lot of you guys are looking forward to Winter Solstice's outfit and Marion Swift's outfit but have not gotten either of them yet. If that's the situation you found yourself in, no worries the devs got you covered. Coming with this update is another 5-star selector. Players can use this selector to recruit one standard banner, 5-star operative of their choice to join their party. If you are a new player or have not started playing yet, this is a fantastic time to join the Heimdall forces. New players will also get another 5-star selector for Complete Story Mission Chapter 5 Part 12. I recommend getting your first 5-star naturally by playing the game before using your selectors. The last thing you want to do is use them first and then get a duplicate as your first natural 5-star. And for our dorm enjoyers, Mogzir and Marion will be getting their own rooms in dorms along with some cute new interactions. I just wish the main character didn't look so creepy. Dude looks like he should be on the list. Anyway, with their addition, the dorm players can now add decorations. Main character can now sit down and rest those long night crawlers, so overall a big W for dorm enthusiasts. Again, though I wish he looked cooler. Every time this dude walks into Acacia's room, I am waiting for Chris Henson to roll up and... Speaking of Acacia, she will be getting a rerun for the second half of this patch. Her banner will go live on November 23 to December 14, so if you miss out on her the first time around, that will be your next opportunity. It wouldn't really be a banger update without some new activities. For our first activity, we have to battle the two Messian Fox. Don't let its cute look fool you, that thing is as deadly as they come, so shoot on sight. Players can look forward to getting some R&R at Yalu Island in the Verdure Star of the Sea Main Story missions. The Ancient Isle survey will open on November 4. In this mode, players will have the opportunity to explore the Yalu Island's open world zone and discover its secrets. On November 6, the Wave Defense Co-op mode will become available, so team up with your friends to take on the challenge. On November 13, the Gold Rush Party minigame will open. There are cute chibis. Need I say more? On November 20, Seabound Warfare will become available to players, offering even more challenges for those who are brave enough to partake. And finally, on November 27, the Heat Wave Battle Co-op Boss Rush Mode will become available. And that will pretty much conclude our video for today. 
Overall, I am looking forward to the new update. There is something about islands I just can't get enough of. So I am really hoping the island open world is more interesting than our last open world. What are your thoughts on the update? Sound off on the comments below.